So listen, if you clicked on this video, that means you want to see something crazy, right? Just like me. I love to see stuff crazy too. That's why I be watching these types of videos. And this next video is the most disturbing creatures ever caught on trail cam. Now, when I'm looking at trail cam footage, I'm often thinking to myself, how do y'all still live there, bro? With some of the stuff we've seen before on some of these camera footages, there's no way. Could you? I couldn't. Could you? I couldn't. There's no way I can continue to live there. But we're going to check this video out, man. So help run the likes up, smash and spam that like button for me. Let's go. I was here at midnight looking at that image by myself going. There have been some truly eerie and spine tingling encounters in the world of trail cameras. These devices have captured some of the most disturbing creatures ever recorded in dense forests and remote wilderness areas. In this video, we jump into the realm of the unknown and the unsettling. Let's uncover the mysteries hidden in the natural world's shadows. From the strange Texan animal to the elusive short-eared dog, here's the 20 most disturbing Short creatures dog. ever caught on trail cam. <sighs> Number 20. Mysterious Animal in Texas Officials from Texas Parks and Wildlife recently conducted an investigation into a mysterious sighting. A wildlife camera in the Rio Grande Valley captured an intriguing image of an unidentified creature, prompting officials to share it on social media and express their fascination with the sighting. Benson Rio Grande Valley State Park officials have acknowledged that they're unable to conclusively determine the identity of the mysterious creature. However, that? they have put forth various possibilities, including the likelihood that it could be a new species, an animal that's escaped from a nearby zoo, or possibly even a park ranger in disguise. The post expressed the excitement of encountering such a remarkable animal in its natural habitat. Officials have promised to keep the public informed about their investigation into the mysterious animal. Me listen, listen, if y'all, and this is my, my thoughts on Texas, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If y'all can deal with rattlesnakes, Cause isn't Texas known for like rattlesnakes and stuff like that? If y'all can deal with that, then this animal here, it'll be a breeze. This ain't nothing to y'all. I can't, no, I can't even deal with the snakes. Get past that. And y'all are known for your rattlesnakes. No, no, this should be easy. This should be a breeze. Meanwhile, some people are commenting on the posts, sharing their own theories. Some believe the animal may be a badger, a wolverine or a bush dog. Others speculate it could be an optical illusion created by two wild hogs crossing paths in opposite directions. If you're enjoying the spine-chilling tales, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to our channel for more eerie encounters. And remember, if you don't subscribe, the woodland creatures might just pay you a visit in the middle of the night. Time for the rare topic. Once upon a time, there was a ruler who was cursed and transformed into an albino slenderman. He lived in a secluded forest with his steadfast companion, an albino snake. Despite the typical laws of nature, they were somehow inseparable. Now, what are y'all thinking if you walk in the woods and see this mannequin looking thing with an albino snake right next to it, directly beside it? What are y'all doing? Bro, I, at that point in time, I feel like I'd learn how to fly because... I think I'd run fast enough to fly out of there. <laughs> Bro, there's no way I'm running into that. I run into that, man. My soul is gonna leave my body, no. However, their peaceful life was disturbed by explorers who caused the albino slender man to collapse in agony. The explorers embarked on a perilous quest using ancient texts as their guide to break the curse. After much searching, they discovered an artifact hidden deep in the forest and placed in the albino slender man's hands. Suddenly, a brilliant light shattered the curse, restoring the albino slender man and his companion to their true forms. The forest was filled with gratitude, and the pair became symbols of fortitude and camaraderie. They reminded everyone of the magic and mystery of the natural world. So, what do you think about the albino slender man? Is he more chill than the regular slender man? As always, comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know what you think about what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. 
Number 19. Rare Amazon Short-Eared Dog Recently, video footage of the short-eared dog, a rare species only found in the Amazon rainforest, was captured. These jungle canines, similar in size to foxes, are hard to observe due to their dark coloring and elusive nature. Only five of these exceptional creatures have been tracked and collected during 14 years of research. This research was headed by veterinarian and ecologist Retna Lita Pittman of Duke University. Unexpected video footage of the short-eared dog was recorded by conservation biologist Larry Reeves. Using a GoPro camera, he set up near a decaying white-lipped peccary carcass. The dog approached the carcass with caution before eventually retreating. Pittman explains that short-eared dogs are typically camera shy, and they're wary of recording equipment and human scents. Despite their distinctive physical characteristics, little's known about their behavior. Now, I know this thing has went viral because this is the first time we've seen this thing, but are we surprised? It's, it's the Amazon, guys. Like, why are we surprised that something weird shows up in the Amazon? You should never be surprised. Population numbers or even their distribution. Short-haired dogs are so elusive because of their rarity. Deforestation, prey scarcity, and the presence of domestic dogs introducing diseases like parvo are all contributing factors to the declining population. Pittman suggests Tambo Pata or Los Amigos near Manu National Park as the best locations to spot these elusive animals. Number 18. Mysterious Glowing Eyes this video, captured by a trail camera at night, shows two lights moving in sync with each other. While the lights look like eye reflections, they're apparently not from insects. Also, a motion detector on a neighbor's camera was triggered, indicating that the source of the eye shine was significant enough to activate the sensor. The neighbor's camera also confirmed this with a flash at the end of the video. It's clear that a bigger animal had passed by the trail camera, as seen from the synchronized eye reflection. The motion sensor being activated raises doubts about the unknown creature's size and behavior. Nevertheless, it's apparent that it is a significant critter. It's worth noting that eye shine is a phenomenon observed in many nocturnal animals, including mammals, reptiles, and yes, even insects. The petitum lucinum, a specialized layer behind the retina, causes this effect, reflecting light and enhancing night vision. This adaptation really? enables animals to navigate and hunt effectively in low light conditions. Number 17. Unknown Creature A captivating photograph has surfaced, depicting an animal with a curious combination of a wolf's fur and a lion's face. Many viewers have been intrigued. What does it matter? It's still deadly. It looks deadly, therefore it is. Intrigued by this creature's distinctive traits, leading to speculation oh. about its origin and existence. That Many people have wondered mean. about the existence of a possible hybrid creature that combines the characteristics of a wolf and a lion. Although this enigmatic creature may seem fascinating and mysterious, we can't determine its true nature without further scientific investigation. It's important to approach any images or evidence of such creatures with caution, because there may be visual abnormalities due to various factors, like lighting or even digital manipulation. Moreover, subjective interpretations can lead to different opinions and speculation. To authenticate and understand the origins of this creature, we would need to subject it to rigorous scientific scrutiny. This includes DNA analysis, comparative anatomy, and expert examination. Through these methods, we can uncover the truth behind the possible existence of this creature. Interestingly, throughout history, human imagination has given rise to numerous mythical creatures and legends. These hybrid creatures, like a griffin or a chimera, have fascinated cultures worldwide, and they continue to inspire artistic representations and storytelling, even today. Number 16. Horrifying Predator Stalking Deer A viral image captured by a trail camera has been circulating on Instagram, depicting a predator stalking a deer. The photo was shared by Marco Apparel, and it shows a pair of eyes, a face, and broad shoulders lurking. See, now, stuff like this, I'm more inclined to believe. Because look at that deer. That deer looking like it's about to get up out of there quickly. Ears is pointed up, eyes is wide. Deer done already sensed him and, and sniffed him out. He's about to haul out of there. You know what I'm saying? So the scene makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what that thing is. Lurking behind a tree, creating an eerie and unsettling scene. 
According to hunters who set up the camera a few weeks earlier in Michigan, the creature is the size of a professional bodybuilder. A closer examination of the picture confirms this assessment. It's definitely a unit, whatever it is. The unknown subject also appears to possess stealthy qualities, as the deer in the photo seems unaware of its presence. There's been speculations that the creature is a bear, but a closer comparison reveals significant differences. While both have a similar body build and glowing round eyes, the unknown subject lacks the pointed ears, the flat face, and the snout typically associated with bears. It also displays a larger, more defined forehead. Furthermore, the absence of antlers or defined ears eliminates the possibility of the subject being a buck or a doe. Comparisons with a coyote also demonstrate that they bear no resemblance to one another. Trail cameras have become a popular tool for wildlife monitoring Man. and research. They're equipped with motion sensors and infrared technology, allowing them to capture images and videos of animals in their natural habitats without disturbing them. These cameras have provided valuable insights into the behavior and presence of various wildlife species. While some may speculate this is a hoax... And these animals are getting smart. We've seen before where bears... Bears start noticing these cameras. They go up, they knock them down, they be tearing them up, stuff like that. Like, animals be evolving and paying attention. Subject's true nature in the photo may forever remain a mystery. Number 15. White Deer at Seneca Army Depot. Recently, These Dennis Money, the president of Seneca White Deer, set up a Browning Trail camera at the former Seneca Army Depot in Seneca County, New York. The camera captured video footage of both brown-colored deer and the depot's iconic white deer up close. Earl Martin, a businessman from Seneca Falls, currently leases the land and has plans to preserve the white deer herd. The white deer, numbering around 90, are not albinos, but rather leucistic. This means they lack pigment in their hair, resulting in their distinct white appearance, while still having normal brown-colored eyes. The footage from Money's trail camera offers a glimpse into the wildlife that inhabits the area, including wild turkeys. It's common to see deer and wild turkeys in close proximity, as demonstrated by the camera footage. The white deer- Yeah, that's, that's, that's a weird relationship for me, a deer and a turkey. Like, that's, that's weird. Like, how did that even come about? population in the former Seneca Army Depot is considered unique and rare. The depot, a former munition storage facility, provided a secluded and protected habitat for the deer to thrive. Efforts to preserve this distinct herd have gained attention and support from conservationists and nature enthusiasts. Number 14. A Headless three and a half leg Deer this next picture, taken by a trail camera, shows a deer without a head and with only three and a half legs. No, no, no. I think we've seen the, the head is just turning. It just caught it at like the perfect, gotta be, it caught it at the perfect angle. Thanks. This has led to a lot of speculation about where the deer came from. Some people think it might be a skinwalker, a creature from Native American mythology. But others believe the image is just a fake or it's been digitally altered. No. It's important to consider all possible explanations. The deer could have been born with physical abnormalities or defects, like missing limbs or antlers, which can happen naturally due to genetic mutations or environmental factors. While it's impossible to completely rule out the possibility of something supernatural, without more evidence or info, it's hard to know what for sure happened. No, it, look, 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 he's scratching himself, and you could tell he turned to the side, scratching himself, because his leg is up, you know what I mean? You know how it is when you're hitting that right spot, trying to get it, your leg go to shaking and everything like that. That's what he's doing. However, these kind of abnormalities show us the natural variations that can occur in wildlife. And the picture will likely continue to intrigue and fascinate those interested in the unexplained. Why? Number 13, Bigfoot. Speculation about the existence of Bigfoot has been reignited by a recent video captured by a trail camera in Oregon. The footage shows a figure wearing a wide-brimmed hat passing between three trees. A group of boys obtained the video from a witness who claimed to have captured Bigfoot, along with a possible Bigfoot baby, on camera. The witness reported that while sitting in a blind near his tree stand, he noticed a buck approaching. In an attempt to attract the buck, he made grunting sounds. However, the buck turned around at the edge of the field, seemingly aware of something. 
The witness then heard a heavy sound to his right and saw a figure on the other side of the creek. It quickly ran up over the hill without making any noise. Upon reviewing the camera footage, they noticed a picture of the figure crossing the creek. The boys were amazed to realize that the figure in the photo was a baby Bigfoot riding on the back of the larger creature. This is the first time their team has obtained photographic evidence of a young Bigfoot. It's understandable that recent reports of Bigfoot sightings have raised concerns for those who enjoy hunting. It seems that some believe a mother and alpha male may be present, which could potentially increase risk. Over the years, there have been numerous reports and investigations into the existence of Bigfoot, but conclusive evidence is yet to be found. We can only hope those hunting areas remain safe and the mystery of Bigfoot's existence will one day be solved. Number 12. Hmm. Mystery Wolfman there's been a recent sighting outside the Amarillo Zoo that's caught the attention of many. A creature resembling a wolfman was captured on camera walking along the perimeter fence. Some describe it as wolf- It's probably some hippie dude <laughs> who ain't even trying to break in. He's just out there just, just roaming around wondrously <laughs> trying to figure something else out. Like, while others compare it to Sonic the Hedgehog before he was redesigned. In other words, terrifying. The sighting occurred around 1 a.m., and thankfully there were no signs of harm or entry to any animals or people. City officials encouraged the community to enjoy the mystery, suggesting that it could just be a playful occurrence. There's been many speculations and theories about the creature's identity, with some mentioning the Chupacabra, a legendary cryptid known for attacking livestock. But the true nature of the mysterious figure remains unknown. Despite numerous reported sightings and stories, no concrete evidence has been found to prove the existence of the Chupacabra. The Chupacabra is a mythical creature, usually associated with livestock killings in various regions of the Americas. The creature is described as having reptilian or canine features, spines on its back, and a thirst for blood. The sighting has fired up discussions among locals and internet users alike and it'll be interesting to see if any further evidence emerges. Number 11. Puzzling Claws Caught on Trail Cam Another fascinating discovery has been made through the use of a trail camera. This time the cam captured an unknown creature's set of claws. While some believe it could be a sick or elderly bear, others speculate that it might be a mysterious entity called a dogman. The claw's distinct shape captured in the footage has left viewers intrigued. Now, I haven't been close enough to a bear to be able to familiarize myself with what the paws look like, but I'm, so let me ask y'all, do y'all, does that look like a bear paw to y'all? I'm trying to go back through things I might have seen on in a video or something like that, and I don't think that is, <laughs> but what do I know? And eager for more info. This sighting has raised questions about unknown that creatures that science has yet to identify. Although the footage alone can't determine the exact origin of the claws, experts and enthusiasts in the field of cryptozoology are exploring the possibility of undiscovered or elusive species. Cryptozoology is the study of hidden or unknown animals, often referred to as cryptids. It investigates creatures that have been rumored to exist, but not been scientifically proven or classified. Famous cryptids include Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, and the Chupacabra. Cryptozoologists gather evidence and conduct investigations to shine light on these elusive creatures and potentially discover new species. While cryptozoology is a fringe science, it remains a fascinating subject for many folks passionate about the mysteries of the natural world. Number 10. Never Seen Before Creature The news of an all-white albino panda being spotted in China has warmed the hearts of many. The rare and exciting moment was captured by a trail camera in a national nature reserve, and has since grabbed the attention of researchers and nature enthusiasts around the world. Experts have confirmed that this is the first recorded instance of an albino panda being captured on camera. The panda Does it make it all just like scratch your head at how things just show up out of nowhere, how animals that we haven't never seen before just show up out of nowhere. Now, I'm not trying to point the fingers or say and say that maybe they're starting to try to grow things or, or 
clone things or grow things in a lab, but how is this stuff just showing up out of nowhere? That's the question. This unique fur with its white coloration sets it apart from the typical black and white pandas. According to researchers, the photographed panda is estimated to be between one and two years old. The National Nature Reserve has disclosed that a genetic mutation called whitening, a type of gene that's present in the local panda population, resulting in rare albino individuals among pandas in the area. This rare sighting presents an opportunity for scientists to study the genetics and behavior of albino pandas, and to understand the diverse genetic variations that exist within this iconic species. The presence and impact of genetic mutations like the whitening gene can contribute to conservation efforts and the preservation of these vulnerable animals. Giant pandas are native to China, and as an endangered species, conservation efforts are essential in protecting their habitats and increasing their population. The significance of this sighting cannot be overstated as it provides valuable insights into the genetics and behavior of this rare and iconic species. Number 9. Zombie Caught by Trail Night Cam A wildlife trail camera, positioned deep in the forest, has captured footage of two mysterious figures that resemble zombies. Could they really be zombies? The human mind has a tendency to create mythical creatures that capture our fascination and imagination. We'll let you decide, and then you can tell us in the comments. The idea of zombies originated from Haitian folklore, where it was believed that voodoo priests could resurrect the dead as mindless slaves. The term zombie was first introduced to the English language in the 19th century by Robert Southey in his book History of Brazil. In some Haitian traditions, zombies are believed to be controlled by bokors, sorcerers who use potions and rituals to control the minds of the living dead. In fact, the Haitian government once passed a law criminalizing the creation and control of zombies due to widespread beliefs in their existence. These days, zombie walks, where people dress up like zombies and walk through public Everywhere. spaces, <laughs> have become popular events in many cities around the world. Number eight. I feel like if the zombie apocalypse ever does happen, like it's gonna take a it's gonna take a while for people to realize it's real, because like everything is zombie nowadays, and the costumes. Do you see how real some of this stuff is, or how good people are with the makeup and stuff? Man, you go to some of these places and they have like these festivals, these zombie things and stuff like that. You go to them, man, and you look at the. Bro, it looks so real and lifelike. I feel like <laughs> the first wave, yeah, they're going to get us. They're going to get us because we're going to be like, ah, this ain't real. And trying to figure it out before we realize it's, it's going to be too late. It's going to be too late. Albino raccoon. A rare albino raccoon was recently spotted in the South Louisiana public swamp, caught on both handheld and trail cameras. These unique creatures suffer from a genetic condition that results in a lack of pigmentation in their fur, resulting in a beautiful white or cream color. Their pink or light-colored eyes are vastly different from the standard raccoon, with their dark fur and markings. He was having a raccoon problem when he noticed one of them was not like the others. Encountering an albino raccoon is a once-in-a-lifetime experience, due to their rarity in the wild. Although these animals face difficulties like becoming more visible to predators and difficulty blending into their surroundings, they continue to thrive in unique habitats like the South Louisiana public swamp, which is home to a variety of wildlife, including raccoons. Albino raccoons, like all wild animals, should be observed from afar and left alone. These creatures play a crucial role in their ecosystem, and they should be permitted to live in their natural habitat without interference. Albino raccoons are a rare sight, with only about 1% of the raccoon population possessing this striking appearance, making them a subject of fascination among nature enthusiasts and wildlife photographers. Number 7. Extremely Rare Black Leopard Recently, wildlife photographer Will Berard Lucas captured photographs of a black leopard in Kenya, which were shared on his website. This marks the first sighting of a black leopard in Africa in 100 years. It's photographed in Kenya, which marks the first recorded sighting in 100 years. The unique appearance of the black leopard is due to a condition called melanism. Look how he just move around. Like, the way he just creep through the woods, you'll never hear him coming, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, thank you. Like his, the, uh, no, 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 you'll never hear, never hear him come. Which causes an excess of pigment production in the body. While black leopards are more commonly seen in Asia, this sighting in Africa is particularly rare. San Diego Zoo has confirmed the authenticity of the photos, stating that they represent the first scientific documentation of a black leopard. Black leopards are elusive and rare, even achieving mythical status. In the past, guides in Kenya knew not to hunt them when it was legal to do so. The specific area where the black leopard was photographed is the only known spot in Africa to have such a leopard. Berard Lucas used a cam traption's camera trap and placed it strategically along the path where the leopard was spotted. After waiting several nights, he finally captured images of the elusive black leopard, fulfilling his dream. It's worth noting that melanism occurs in approximately 11% of leopards worldwide, but there's been limited confirmed cases in African leopards. The observations of the black leopard in the Laikipia region of Kenya, a semi-arid shrubland, are unique as previous melanistic sightings primarily came from shaded habitats in tropical forests. Melanism is an adaptation that allows animals to blend into dark backgrounds for better camouflage. It's commonly observed in various species, including leopards, jaguars, and certain birds. Black coloration provides them with a distinct advantage in their natural environments allowing them to remain concealed and hunt more efficiently. Number six, creepy Louisiana hunting picks. I'm gonna be honest, I'm really nervous about what this creepy Louisiana stuff's gonna be. So here we go. A mysterious image shot on a deer camera and shared by a viewer of NBC 33 has led to a lot of speculation. I was, I was here at midnight looking at that image by myself going, the camera was reportedly any other place i'd probably be like yeah right this ain't real this is this is louisiana though <laughs> uh -uh, i don't put nothing past it he found damaged on a reserve in berwick near morgan city but uh -huh. the sim card remained intact the viewer claims the image is authentic and describes the creature in the photo as resembling an alien looking thing this raises questions about the possibility of unidentified beings living in the area Although some may doubt the photo's authenticity, it's important to take the viewer's claim seriously. Either way, you stare at that photo long enough, it'll show up in your dreams. Conduct further analysis and investigation. We could have a full-scale alien invasion on our hands here. On the other hand, could more be. investigation may provide information about the mysterious creature captured on the deer cam. The use of trail cameras has revolutionized wildlife monitoring and research, allowing for rare and unexpected sightings of animals and providing valuable data for conservation. It's always a good thing when we're increasing our understanding of the natural world. Number 5. Creepy Ghost Footage In this creepy clip, a strange figure dressed entirely in white was seen moving slowly nope. through a forest in no broad daylight. You. The figure was observed kneeling nope. and standing, creating an unsettling sight. It's not known whether the entity was a ghost or a person wearing a cheap ghost costume that left on- Look like a person in a hazmat suit. Lookers wondering about the figure's nature and its intentions, which remain unknown. The image of a ghost wearing a white sheet is an iconic symbol with roots in ancient beliefs and traditions. In many cultures, white clothing represented and spirits. For instance, in ancient Rome, the restless spirits of the known as Lemurs were thought to be dressed in white. The concept of the sheet covered ghost evolved over time, influenced by folklore, literature, and even theater productions. By the Victorian era, white sheets were commonly used in stage performances and Halloween costumes, cementing the image of ghosts draped in ethereal fabric. Even today, the sheet-wearing ghost remains a recognizable and enduring symbol of the supernatural. Although, I'd say these days, a ghost covered in a white sheet is the second most scary thing that you could find walking around covered in a white sheet. Number 4. Something in the Appalachian Mountains During a hike in the Appalachian Mountains, a hiker had a memorable encounter with a charming and adorable creature. Although the creature was initially perceived as creepy, its endearing and cute behavior quickly won over the hiker's heart. The hiker was fascinated by a small owl. People do realize things can be cute yet deadly, right? I just want to make sure I'm clear on that. Y'all know that, right? 
I don't understand some people. ...his unique behavior of ducking its head and popping back up, which remind them of the tree spirits from the anime movie Princess Mononoke. These spirits symbolize the health of the forest. Owls have captivated people for a long time, with their stunning appearance and their interesting behaviors. Their silent flight, large eyes, and round faces make them a sight to behold. Additionally, they play a vital are. role. I don't care who you are. You hear that while you're in the woods, get out. And maintaining nature's balance by controlling rodent populations. Encounters with wildlife, like this adorable owl, are a look into the wonders of the natural world. They remind us of the beauty Why that surrounds us, like that? and we can learn to appreciate and respect these creatures. Did you know that owls possess specialized feathers that allow them to fly silently? These feathers' fringed edges mute the sound of their wing beats, making them almost inaudible when in flight. This adaptation enables them to hunt with precision and stealth. Number 3. Unidentified Mysterious I did not know that. All I knew is that they can almost, what, turn their head like full 360? Isn't that right? Animal. Our next intrepid trail camera captured footage of a flying creature in the woods of a low mountain. It's unclear whether the creature was a Japanese giant flying squirrel or a Japanese dwarf flying squirrel due to its quick movements. The creature was seen chasing a moth, and unlike bats, it did not use its wings to move through the air. The footage was taken in Japan during the early hours back in October of 2021, using a trail camera equipped with what? night vision. The camera captured the moment at a rate of 15 frames per second. Flying squirrels are fascinating creatures that have the ability to glide through the air using a special skin flap called a patagium. They're typically found in the forest canopy and they're known for their impressive gliding skills. Japanese giant flying squirrels are one of the largest species of flying squirrels, measuring up to 35 inches in length. Despite their name, they can't actually fly. Instead, they use their patagium to glide through the air. Number 2. Weird Animals As we've seen time and time again, it's amazing what you can capture on a trail cam these days. In this one, someone caught footage of what they thought was a scary animal, but it turned out to be a little fox suffering from mange. Even though it may have looked a bit rough, the fox was just being a normal scavenger, looking for some tasty treats to eat. Mange is caused by pesky mites that can make animals lose their fur, feel itchy, and just plain uncomfortable. Yeah. It's definitely not a fun experience, but- I always heard about that as a kid. You would hear like, of, uh, older people be like, be careful that dog, you got the mange. I just never knew what it was. I just always knew it was bad. <laughs> Luckily, there are ways to treat it. In fact, if you see an animal with mange, it's important to tell someone who can help them and get the care that they need. Foxes are pretty sneaky creatures. They'll eat just about anything they can find, from small mammals to insects and even leftovers from other animals. They're highly adaptable, and they can basically be found all over the world. Foxes also play an important role in their ecosystems by keeping populations of small animals in check. Sometimes, wildlife populations can get hit hard by diseases like mange, but with the right care and support, they can get back to their healthy selves in no time. Wildlife management organizations work hard to make sure that animals are taken care of, and that diseases like mange don't spread too far. Number 1. Werewolf Caught on Trail Cam there is a serious debate going on surrounding the authenticity of our final photograph captured by trail cameras. Some people believe that the image shows a werewolf, while others think it's merely a person dressed up in a wolf suit. Werewolf legends can be traced back to ancient civilizations, with stories of shape-shifting humans or half-human, half-wolf creatures found in folklore from various cultures. The term werewolf is derived from Old English, where the word were means man, and wolf, well, that one means wolf. In medieval Europe, the belief in werewolves was widespread and often associated with witchcraft and devil worship. In some cultures, it was believed that wearing a belt made from wolf skin could grant the wearer the ability to transform into a wolf. But we definitely don't recommend trying this. Leave the wolf skin where it belongs. On a wolf! The belief that werewolves transform under the full moon's light can be traced back to ancient Greek and Roman mythology. 
In these cultures, it was believed that the moon had a powerful influence on human behavior, and thus could cause transformations into wolf-like creatures. Many I don't know about y'all, but I still believe that's the case. You know what I mean? Or maybe it's I watched the movie Purge too much, because I think that movie Purge, <laughs> all of them do some crazy stuff in that movie, and I think that's like, the moon, they never talk about it, but the moon is probably full on those nights too. Stories depict the full moon as the cause of a human transforming into a werewolf. This is thought to be because the bright light of the full moon either activates the werewolf curse or induces a physical change in the person. On the other hand, it's not uncommon for people to wear costumes in wilderness areas, especially during events like Halloween or themed parties. Werewolf legends and myths have been a part of folklore and popular culture for centuries, often depicting humans transforming into wolf-like creatures under certain circumstances, like during a full moon. This concept remains fascinating in literature, films, and TV. Well, the trail camera capture world has brought forth some truly disturbing creatures. That's These hilarious. images have ignited curiosity and speculation, from bizarre anomalies to mysterious figures. As we delve deeper into the unknown, we're left with two questions. What other unsettling beings might be lurking in the shadows? I don't know, but now that I said the word purge, I think I'm going to watch that tonight. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that movie, man. Maybe it's something wrong with me, bro. But I enjoy the, the purge. But anyway, y'all get at me in the comment section, man. Let me know what y'all thought of these most disturbing creatures caught on trail cam. Spam that like button. Stick around and stay tuned. It's the next one I'm gone. Peace.